I genuinely feel comfortable today. I'm in a sweatshirt. I'm in like nurse's scrubs, which means that it's time to film a video. Hey guys, it's Elissa and I am back with another video. And today we are talking about something that you have all probably witnessed, seen, or even done yourself. And it's about time we talk about it. Today we are talking about YouTube hate and hate in general. You know, I think we can all agree that when we see hate online, yes, it is compelling, and yes, we like to watch, because as human natures, we are, as human natures, because with human nature, we are drawn to drama. However, I think we can all agree that it's not right. Online hate is literally all over YouTube, and I'm... 99.9% .9 sure all of you guys have seen it before, especially if you're on YouTube a lot. You often see it with creators when a creator says something that isn't right, or does something that isn't right, or lies, or somehow does something that is not morally correct. They always get a lot of hate for it. And before I talk too much about this, I also want to say I don't think it is right to do like unmoral things on YouTube. I'm not in any way justifying the actions of some YouTubers who do things or say things or lie. Um, that's not a good thing. And yes, they should be called out. But there is a certain line that you have to understand and that you cannot go past. It's like we're trying to say that these YouTubers can't say wrong things but we're telling them not to in the wrong way it's kind of like me saying you shouldn't be mean to someone but as i'm telling you not to be mean to someone i'm being mean to you and some people can say that that's completely justified because they were rude first but i'm saying that i think our approach to those types of situations makes or breaks the hate on youtube and in general when someone is doing something that you don't like on YouTube, you don't need to send them a bunch of hate and be completely unmoral and inhumane. It is 10 times more effective to call someone out in a humane way and say, this is exactly what I don't like. I don't like it because of this. It needs to stop. That's all you have to say. I will also say though, on the flip side, YouTube creators have to be especially careful with what they present online and on their channels. What you post on your channel is a direct reflection of who you are as a person. If you put things on your channel that aren't you and don't symbolize you and show what you stand for, your audience is not going to know who you are and they're going to have this perception of you from your content. So if your content is a bunch of hate and really negative all the time, your audience is going to perceive you as a hateful and negative person. You are always going to be held accountable for what you say online or offline. What you say directly reflects who you are. So if you're saying things that aren't you, then don't say them. YouTube can be such an amazing place, but it can also be a terrifying and hateful place. And I want it to be that wonderful place for everyone. If you don't like what a creator is putting out on YouTube or something that they say or do or who they are as a person, you have two options and you can do one or the other or you can do both. You can either unsubscribe to them or you can call them out. When you call them out though, you can't be this hateful person that you're trying to get them not to be. If you have called them out and they are very stubborn on what they are posting onto YouTube and who they are and they keep posting those things and you don't want any part of it, then don't have any part of it. And as for YouTube creators, you also need to understand that what you put online directly affects how people perceive you. You are not a perfect human being, but you are on an online platform where people watch your videos and watch what you say and watch what you do. It takes a little bit of responsibility as a creator to be on this platform. Don't offend people, be nice on the YouTube platform. They really are simple rules, but they are so effective and they need to be put into place for YouTube 
to be that welcoming place that it was originally created to be. And another big point I want to make in this video is the fact that a YouTuber can say something that you don't like, or someone in your own real offline life can do something that you don't like, but there is no justification to be inhumane to another human being. Being mean just makes you look bad, and it doesn't matter who is mean first. You need to make the right choices for you, and if you've called someone out and they keep doing the same thing that bothered you, you unsubscribe or you get them out of your life. The way that you call someone out is the utmost important thing. And if there is one piece of advice I can give you, is just be kind. It's not hard and it will help tremendously make YouTube a better place. So that was it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, you can give me a thumbs up down below. Also, you can comment down below and start a conversation with someone as long as you're appropriate and kind. You can click here for our video, you can click here for another video, and somewhere on the screen there will be a subscribe button that you can click to be part of this community and to get notifications on when I post new videos. I hope you guys have an awesome time until I see you again with another video. Bye!